facial hair? Me? Well, not you personally. Well, I guess yes, I'm asking you personally, since no one else is in the room. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it up to the commenters. Yes, we should put a poll on the site. Actually, this Shave is the poll. The hair. Should Stefan yeah. keep the beard for the big 20,000 plus person presentation, or <laughs> should he look respectable without it? See, that's, yeah, that's, that's a good poll. I don't know what to do. I'm kinda, my wife says shave it. So, are you really willing to put it in the hands of the students? Yeah, I am. All right. I'll do it. What's the deadline? Uh, I, I leave for uh, Atlanta on uh, Tuesday morning. Okay. So, I have to do the presentation on Thursday, I think. So, so Channel 8 decides Stefan's Channel fate. Channel 8 decides how I'm going to look in front of all those crazy people. Boom! You got a lot of bills there, man. Sometimes I pay bills, sometimes I forget, and then I get notices like this. <laughs> uh, luckily, it's all electronic, so I, I'm hoping they got paid somehow. I don't really know what's going on. By somebody else. Some, I'm hoping Marcy across the hall paid them for me. I'm assuming she did. I have no idea. Why? Are you kind of a big deal? No, uh, I'm, uh, uh, I'm kind of incompetent when it comes to actually my personal life, so I end up uh, relying on others to do things like paying bills for me. Otherwise, I'll, I'll be in jail for you know, some kind of fraud, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, okay, so today, what are we going to show? We're going to show, well, let's, let's step back for a second. What do we know about Stefan? We know Stefan is thrifty, or cheap, as my wife says. Annoyingly so, as she says. So I hate paying for things that I can get for free. That's why I get a lot of Microsoft clothes, because uh, they're free. I can wear them. This actually is not Microsoft, but most everything else I have is. Uh, so today we're going to show... Hold on a second, you're wearing, you're wearing like, button-down and... And shorts. And shorts. You know why? Because my t-shirts were all dirty. So we know I'm cheap, we know I don't like paying for things, and so when I uh, have to get directory assistance when I'm in the car, you know, most folks call 411, right, which is ridiculous. It's like a $2,000 a call or something like that. It's ridiculous to call 411. So we've launched at Microsoft free 411 using our phone and using the uh, technology we have from Microsoft Speech and I think also from Tell Me we acquired last year. So today I just want to show you how easy it is to use Microsoft 411. Let's go to the phone. So here we have, uh, this is the Unified Communications phone, all my contacts are here across the company, yada, yada, yada. But I'm just going to go ahead and call uh, my contact at 411, which is right here, so I'll click on that guy, and then it's going to go ahead and call 411. Now, Life Surge, for this... What up? Sorry. Yeah, no, it's not your fault, it's the phone, don't worry. Can you hear Sorry. me? That's Everett, Massachusetts, right? It's usually much more reliable than this, trust me. So let's, let's try it again. You're going to like this, trust me. Don't worry, it works like 85% of the time. Hey, yeah, it's free. It's free. Okay. Live search for a business. Bellevue, Washington. Okay, well, what business or what type of business are you looking for? Barrier Motors. Do you want the one on Bell Red Road? The one on 120th Avenue Northeast, or the one on Northeast 8th Street? 120th. That's Northeast 8th Street, correct? No, 120th. My mistake. Do you want the one on Bell Red Road? The one on 120th. 120th. Sorry, I didn't catch that. This Please works great in, 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 in the prep. 120th Avenue, 120th Avenue Northeast. Okay, there are your motors at 1533 120th Avenue Northeast. The number is 425-643-00. So again, this is handy, of course. Zero, zero. Read me the directions I hear, but now here's where it gets hot. Email. You can say, share this listing. Share this listing. Or connect me. You can also... Share this listing. Great. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Please say or enter your friend's mobile number. 206-35-03. That's 206 three, zero 3 right? Yep. Cool, I sent it. Now you can say, share this listing, or connect me. You can also say, repeat the info, or start over. Uh, main menu. All right. What am I looking at here? Hold well, on. So what you're looking at here now is, is I had her text me the information Sorry, to my I phone automatically. Now, if you call from, if you actually call you from your cell phone, it, it auto texts the uh, the directory listing right to your text to your cell phone. So here, I'm driving around. I want to go ahead and get a, a you know a, a phone number for somebody or a listing or an address for somebody. I call 411. I ask for it. It gives me the information I want. I say, great, text me the information. Boom, on your phone. Show me again because I didn't. I, it was in. Not focus. So check it. So here we go. Live search. There's a text I just got right there. So it's just basically there's Barrier Motors. There's the phone number. There's the address. 
and that's I can click on any of those things and it'll either bring up a map here or bring up uh, or call the call the number. Slick. Isn't that smoking? Now what if you said share and you put somebody else's number in there? You could totally spam your friends too. So that's what I just did here, right? I actually put my number in there because it was calling from my landline. So I put my number in and it texted it to my cell phone. So, so the next it. time you go off to some foreign country and text messages cost like eighty thousand $8, dollars a text, right. I'm going to send you a bunch of these. That would be really mean. That'd be awesome. Really mean. I don't like that at all. Okay, so what else can this crazy service do? Let's go ahead and, and dial back in. Take a look. Oh, oh, what? She's busy, man. What? No, you're not busy. What do you call her, by the way? What's her name? Uh, Mary. Hey, Mary. Yeah, quite contrary. How does your voice recognition grow? Uh, <laughs> that's just going downhill, isn't it? Okay, so we have movies. We've got travel. We've got uh, cheap gas. What do you want to see? I would like to see Hancock. Oh, who's going to movies? Okay. Movies. Sorry, I still didn't get that. Movies. Movies, powered by Fandango. All right, Mary. Do you want to look in and around Bellevue? Yes. You can also enter... Great. Say a movie name, or say, find a theater, or new releases. Hancock. Hancock, rated PG-13. Do you want to see it at Regal Bella Bottega 11? No. No. About what time do you want to go? You can also say, here are all showtimes. For showtimes on a different day, say, tomorrow, Saturday, or Sunday. I don't really care. But what I can do now, actually, is I can, I can, oh, now my phone's not working now. Yeah. Pretend like the phone's, Sorry, I still didn't get yeah, that. you know why? My phone's not working. There we go, call. So what's happening there is you can actually specify a movie, then specify the zip code or theater you want to see it in. And then where it gets hot is you can actually buy tickets with your voice over the phone. Which is, I think, boom, a smoke and hot. <laughs> How does it pay for it? Do you have, I have to? I don't really know. Uh, use your credit card I, over the phone. So, probably some kind of crazy voice off ski with a credit card. So that's what you're seeing here. Really, is the great integration between Tell Me and uh, Microsoft Speech Server. And best of all, it's free, dude. You can call. You can call anywhere in the U.S. You can call one eight hundred. Uh, call 411. Totally free service. Use your voice. Find this what you need. Never again pay your carrier $8,000 for a, for a directory assistance call. I got asked, there are no advertisements or anything? Not that. Well, so you heard the Fandango. Uh, yeah, but right? I mean, I feel like they're powering it because they get to get, get the purchase. The commission for the commission. Yeah. yeah. But I didn't hear any advertisements. There are no advertisements that I'm aware of right now. And again, this is all still kind of a new service here. Yeah. So it's hard to say how it can be monetized going forward, but certainly today it's completely free. Uh, no distracting advertisements, high quality recognition of voice works great on cell phones when you're not speaking into a crappy little speaker like this. Right. Uh, and uh, overall, delightful. So I highly recommend it. <laughs> I highly recommend it. Okay, I think that's all I need. I like that sound. Isn't that nice? It's thinking hard by Hancock. So it's actually going out to the web, querying the information and bringing it back in. Ostensibly. Ooh. It's pretty. This worked a lot better this morning when I tried it. Trust me. <laughs> I think... <laughs> the demo guys, you know, I have to do a demo next week to a pretty large crowd of people. And I'm pretty sure this is, uh, this is just a precursor for that disaster. And uh, unlike this demo, where we can cut it and edit shit around, stuff around, uh, that demo uh, is live in front of 20-some thousand people. Uh, this isn't going to work if I do that de uh, demo. So we're not going to do this demo next this week. We're just going to go ahead and... Hey, are you still there? Hello? Movies? That's a shame. What if... Uh... <laughs> Come on!